Okay, you guys okay with that? All right, well, let's see. Then let's do some problems. For example, right, they gave you 22 over. Twenty-five divided by thirty-three over say over fifty. Okay, what would you guys do? What would you do? Keep the first fraction the same. Reciprocal of the second fraction, 33 over 50 becomes 50 over 33. You're right. And now change your division to multiplication. Okay, so now this becomes a multiplication problem. And how do you multiply? Straight across. 22 times 50, only don't multiply, remember? 25 times 33, don't multiply. Instead of multiplying, what do you do with these numbers you see here? Right? You break them down. Is that true? You break them down. Prime factorization. How do you factor 22? Two times what? You okay with that? How do you factor 50? Five times 10, and 10 is? 2 times 5, don't forget there's multiplication, 25 is 5 times 5, multiplicate, 33, 3 times 11. So what happens now? Do I cancel a 2? 11, yeah, a 5, yeah, a 2, no, a 5, 2's left, 2's left. Three's left. So what's the final answer? Four over what? Three. So ladies and gentlemen, you've divided your fractions. Okay, anybody have any questions on that? You sure? Is that easy or is that hard? easy? Okay, well, let's see. I'm going to erase this. As you guys know, it always gets what? Harder. Always gets harder and harder. Okay. For example, let's see if you're awake. 28x. over 27y divided by 49x squared over 16y. Here we go. Since it's division, keep the first fraction the same. 28x over 27y. What's the reciprocal of the second fraction? <coughs> What's that reciprocal? 16 what? 16y over 49x squared. OK, the hard part is done. Is that right? OK, remember, don't actually multiply. You're going to multiply, take the product across here. It'll be 28x times 16y, 27y times 49x squared. So don't actually multiply them out. What do you guys now do with this? Remember, what do you do with all this information? Break 28 down, break 27 down, break 16 down, break 49 down. Can you break x or y down? No, they're already, they're already prime in a sense. Can I break x squared down? How do I break it down? 
x times x. Okay, good. So let's break everything down. How do you factor 28? Say 4 times 7 are 2 times 2 times 7, right? Don't forget there's a what there? x. Here's your times 16. Do you guys know how many twos are multiplied together to get 16? Four. Four twos, right. One, two, three, four. And don't forget you have a what? You have a what? Okay. So we factor the numerator. Let's factor the denominator. 27 is really what? 3 times 3 times 3. Don't forget times your what? Times your y. Times, how do you break 49 down? 7 times 7. And x squared? OK. Everything is broken down. Cancellation property says, can the 2's go away? No. What about a 7? Mm -hmm. An x? Sure. Ah, none of my 2's. Go away. How about a y? Yeah. yeah. Do you guys see why it's a good idea to circle what's left? I can't over uh, emphasize that. You know, you did all this hard work. All of this hard work. <coughs> don't forget to finish it off. It's kind of like if you don't, it gets a little frustrating, right? It's kind of like for me, if you don't go back and circle what's left and you leave terms out or you leave values out in your final answer, you get it wrong now. To me, it's like fumbling in the end zone, you know, when nobody was around you. Just kind of unnecessary. You already did all that work. You already got home free. So what's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2? How many 2's is that? Does anybody know it's? Anybody know? Well, didn't we say 4 2's is 16 times 4 is? Is that 64? That's 64. Are there any letters on top? Is there a Y there? No, sorry. No, there's no Y there. It's gone. It's canceled. What about the numbers? What's this? 27 times 7. What's 27 times 7? Good. It's 189. Don't, for, don't forget that. You have to get that one right. 189 times what? X and you are done. Three divided by eleven eight. Sorry, no, let's see, 3 divided by, how about um, 9 elevenths? What do you do with the 3 if you're going to divide fractions? Put a 1 under it, good. And now what do you get? What is this now? Is that 3 over 1? times 11 over 9. Good. And that's going to be multiply across. 3 times 11 over, what's 1 times 9? 9. Okay, break down the 9, that's 3 times what? Times 3. Cancel your 3's. What's the answer? It's 11 over 3. <clears throat> okay, you guys okay with this? Anybody have any questions? You sure? So what happens after you um, simplify fractions, after you... Um,